Hey folks and welcome to a new installment of Sarah Plays a Scary Thing. Obviously today we are starting Outlast, um, which you might not know is this is actually the second time I've started Outlast. I did actually record one episode, um, except if you've seen the, um, I think I've already uploaded the episode of Resonant Rise where I bitched about this. Um, I was recording some cutscene stuff for my Hexit series in which I had the microphone turned off and I forgot to tell Fraps to start recording the microphone again. So for the next couple of days I recorded a whole bunch of shit that had no voice in it. Uh, about three episodes of Bastion, episode of Resonant Rise, um, an episode of Cook Serve Delicious, and of course this right here. So I'm gonna start over again. Outlast contains intense violence, gore, graphic sexual content, and strong language. Yay! Fun for the whole family. You are Miles Upshur, an investigative reporter whose ambition is about to earn him an intimate tour of hell on earth, always willing to risk digging into the stories no other journalist would dare investigate. You will seek out the dark secret at the heart of Mount Massive Asylum, and in the process, you will become one of those people in the first five minutes of an episode of Supernatural. Stay alive as long as you can, record everything. You are not a fighter. No shit, Sherlock. To navigate the horrors of Mount Massive and expose the truth, your only choices are to run, hide, or die. Okay. Well, here we go. Department of Agriculture Commissioner Salazar said changing weather patterns uh -huh. for livestock behavior. Mad cow! Mad cow! Okay, now are those Sheriff's Secret Police helicopters, or are those um, vague yet menacing government agency helicopters, or are those uh, Strex Corp helicopters? I, I need to know. Do they have murals on them? Okay, that, that's enough Night Vale references here. Mount Massive Asylum. All right. Let's just stop right here. Okay. Set the right, take my keys, get my crap. You don't know me, have to make this quick, they might be monitoring. Excuse me, I did two weeks of software consult at Murkoff Psychiatric Systems Facilities at Mount Massive, all sorts of MDAs. I am very much breaking right now, but seriously, fuck those guys. <laughs> all right, you go. Terrible things happening there. Don't understand it. Don't believe half the things I saw. Doctors talking about dream therapy going too deep, finding about something that had been waiting for them in the mountain. People are being hurt, and Murkoff is making money. It needs to be exposed. Okay. There's the premise of the game, right there. There's my batteries. There's my camera. All right, and here we go. Yep, that's me. <coughs> Night vision. All good to go. And night vision must be used sparingly because it drains the battery. Whereas I think regular recording somehow does not. All right, objectives. In my notebook. Notes, that's don't have my notes yet. Documents. I just have the whistleblower that I just read. Alright, so I'm gonna... Let's see. It's um, that button, right? Yeah. Oh, excuse me. All this weird crap here. Nope, that's the lean. That's night vision. That runs me down. Uh, how... I forgot how I zoom. And I just wasted a battery. Oh shit. Okay. Jump. Crouch. Lean. That's zoom. Okay. Alright, so this, there's all this completely useless bullshit here. So I'm gonna just uh, head on this way. Open the door quickly, press X. To open the door slowly, press X and move forward or backward. 
Yep, that's discreet. Bit recorded, adding a note. Yeah. I start feeling sick just looking at this place. Mount Massive Asylum, shut down amid scandal and government secrecy in 1971. Reopened by Murkoff Psychiatric Systems in 2009 under the guise of a charitable organization. Cell phone reception cut off abruptly a mile out, more like a jammer than a lost signal. The Murkoff Corporation has a long track record of disguising profit as charity, but never on American soil. Whatever they thought they could get out of this place has to be big. Might finally be the story that breaks the bastards. Well, good for you, Miles. Oops, I was already, yeah. Alright. Notes are only added to your notebook when your camcorder is ri- Oh, snap! What is that? I did not see that the first time. Holy shit. Nope, uh, whatever it is, it's gone. It's no longer there. Okay, well, I know that door's locked. So, I'm gonna just go ahead and head over this way. Did you run? Hold down that. And crouch. Playing with the uh, 360 controller here today. Uncrouch. Okay, now I gotta do this kind of uh, somewhat platformy bullshit here. Can I see up there? No, guess not. Okay. I'll scratch my nose. There we go. Up we go. Okay, now I'm not gonna be that guy that runs around with a camcorder while trying to jump, so... Hup! There we go. Hup! Okay, and from here I need to... <laughs> yeah, why not be using the camcorder right now? Alright, here we go. Yeah, let's just jump right in there. <laughs> okay. Yep. And it drains pretty quick, as you'll notice. Um, herp. There we go. Okay. There appears to be nothing of interest this way. At least not that I can get to. Nor that way. Okay. Uh-huh. Righty, righty, righty. So we'll just go through here. <gasps> oh! Damn it! That got me the first time through, too. Ugh. Where to God? Open. Okay, and I'm just gonna squish through here. Okay. Oh God. Okay, I'm pretty sure one of these offices slam. Yeah, totally inconspicuous. Pretty sure one of these offices had some batteries in it. Oh, there's one. To replace the one that I um. Yeah, accidentally screwed up and shoved in there when I didn't need to. Teamwork! <laughs> oh, shit. Oops, whoa, 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 whoa. get back in there. <laughs> Slam. Oh, there's a document. Okay. Huh, <sighs> Markov Pikeers Resistance Project Wall Rider. Mount Massive, blah blah blah. Patient initials, WPH Billy. 
Consultation A, and then patient age 19. Patient claims to have progressed to self-directed lucid dream states, morphogenic engine activity observed at unprecedented scale, continuing stage 4 hormone schedule. Uh, highly worrisome. Laughter in REM state. There we go. Billy asked about the status of his mother's lawsuit against Murkoff in the asylum. This represents a catastrophic breach in security, despite Billy's claims that he discovered the truth in the blood dreams of Dr. Traeger. Note the only Traeger on company records. One Ms. Richard Traeger is an executive from MRD. All orderlies and security personnel must be questioned in video security improved to include analytical biometrics. Welp. Creepy. Um, are those my footprints? I don't think those are my footprints. Nope. 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 <sighs> Whole lot of nope. And yeah, naturally, that's where I have to go. Oh god, a buck seventy-five for a canned drink. Avoid contamination. Wash your hands. There's a Coke and a, or a, uh, excuse me, a uh, generic cola, and um, a colon, I guess. Those are two great tastes that do not go great together. Okay. Two microwaves, one for lunch, one for science, I guess. Oh, God. Okay, I, I, I am. There we go. Oh, shit. I'll go ahead and turn the night vision off because it's not going to do me a lot. Uh. Oh, God. Alright, I'm just gonna curp, hop right down there. I can't go this way. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Can't go that way. Okay. I guess I have to go this way. Because there's all manner of crap piled up there. God! Son of a bitch! <sighs> I knew that was coming! Oh my god, and it still got me. Jesus Christ. This fucking game. Now, I was warned by the friend from church who bought this thing for me that it is a mess of jump scares. Um, yeah, he wasn't kidding. If you like jump scares, this is your game right here. Shit. I'm gonna just, uh. And meanwhile, Miles is flipping out here. It's okay, dude. Just. Just breathe. Deep, deep cleansing breaths. Um. Um. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh. Hey, yeah. <coughs> They killed us. You caught out the variants. You can't fight them. You have to hide. Uh. You can unlock the main doors. Okay, control. good to know. You have to get the fuck out of this terrible place. You know, uh, I'm I'm perfectly okay with that, bruh. Oh God. I suppose there's any batteries up in here. Yeah, I'm running out of battery here. This is not good. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Yeah, and naturally, that's the way I have to go. Oh, fuck. Um... Nothing there. 
I ain't going in there. Guess I can't go in there. Little fish. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. No. No. <sighs> Then and there's this guy. You, then? <sighs> I, I see, merciful God, you have sent me an apostle. Well, uh, Lord, your life, son. You I, I did not sign on for this. I, apostle is not in my job description. Where the fuck is my camera? That's nice. Okay. Escape the asylum. Access security control to unlock the main doors. Have I read that? Oops. Yo. I'm inside. Bodies everywhere. Blood burn marks. Heads lined up like bottles behind a bar. Dead Murkoff scientists tongue from the ceiling. Their badges say Murkoff Advanced Research Systems. Murkoff's long-time M.O. has been to profit off the exploitation of supposed charity. Fuck the third world and make roll another billion. How did Murkoff think they would make money off a building full of crazy people? There's some kind of tactical cop pinned like a pig on a sp uh, tells me to get the fuck out and then dies. Would have been a good thing to hear when I could still leave the way I came. Well, we don't all get what we want, do we, Miles? Anything? No, nothing new. I've got to find a battery. Or two, or three, or four. Dead body. Nope, yeah, nope, I ain't going that way. Okay, and I've got to be very careful with my batteries here. Oh, oh! There's one right there. No, ah, damn it. Give me the battery. Thank you. Yes, that's it. Okay. Okay, turn off. And that would be where I got thrown down. Oh, yep, 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 there's the hole right there. Okay. Oh, where the happy hell do I need to go now? This is right about where I need to. Oh, oh, documentation, thank you. What this? Documents. Warrant for seizure. Murkoff Corp. Warrant for Seizure Case. Uh, in the case of uh, seizure of da 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 da. Catastrophic security failure of psychiatric center with imminent danger of environment contamination. Well. Contaminated with what? Not entirely sure I want to know. Let's see, I can't get into any of those, I don't think. Oops. Okay. Okay, this way. Don't! Oh, ho snap. Nope, 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 nope. This way? Might I find something good this way? Ah, here we go. Oh, shit. Whew. As long as he doesn't start moving, I'm okay. You know, a battery would be awesome right about now. I don't want to go that way. I want to go this way. Oh, goody. Another dead body. Oh, God, that's a plant. 
<laughs> oh. Anything this way? Nope. Not a thing. Oh, 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 oh. What is this? What we got here? A uh, project for all wall rider patient status report for Chris Walker. Whoops. Uh, hey. Can I read it, please? Okay. CLW Walker, patient age 32, gender male, therapy status morphogenic, engine activity plateaued at roughly 2,000 ppm. Unsafe to progress beyond stage 3 hormone schedule. To be given restraints following his self inflicted mutilations. Restraint have had to be altered to accommodate his enormous size. Oh, I think I may have just met him! Extensive dermal eruptions are continue consistent with failed morphogenic engine cellular activity. He claims the skin ripped on his forehead allows for a truer way of seeing. Seems to have some ex boy experience with Tuatara lizards and their parietal eyes. He has expressed anxiety about his flesh, specifically around his lips and nose, attending orderlies. Blah, 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 blah. Trains while serving F. Oh, yikes. Okay. All right. Oops, wrong button. Okay. Oh, oh, um, how about no? What's this way? That's somewhere I've been, I think. Okay, um, shit. Yeah, I think I'm gonna not go that way. At least not yet. Yeah, that's, um, somewhere I most definitely do not want to go. Yeah. I'm just gonna leave that dude alone. Okay. Oh, God. I'm gonna have to go down here. I don't want to go down here. Okay, hold that thought. Let's just run. Attract all kind of attention up in here. Oh, I haven't been here yet. Okay, anything worth seeing? Other than the dead body? Don't think so. Can I jump out this window? Hello? Let me out! Hello? No, of course not. Okay. Welp. I'm going to, um, I think our friend has moved along. Oh, what a cheerful looking bunch. Particularly that guy. Uh, yeah, oh, God. Um. Uh, oh, oh, jeez. Okay. Cleaning supplies. That's that's fine. Then there's... Oh, shit. Witness! Okay, I, I wrote a note. The Witness. 
I've already beat all to hell. Picking broken glass out of my scalp, couple cracked ribs, nearly killed by a deformed giant. Looks like somebody tried to fuckstart his head with a cheese grater. Yeah, I think that's the guy that, um, in the, the file there. He throws me through a wall and knocks me unconscious. I wake up with some, and some doughy old man with a face like an alcoholic kitty fiddler. And a homemade priest outfit calls me his apostle. Not a job I asked for. There are words scrawled in blood everywhere. I'm getting an ugly feeling in my gut that the priest is writing them and for my benefit. Oh, isn't that nice of him? Oh, how about no? Okay. Uh, at this point, I am going to take a little break. And I will definitely be playing more of this. And I will see you next time, folks. Bye-bye.